the Coalition to Abolish Slavery and Trafficking, fondly known as CAST. No, it's funny, it's not an after school musical theater program. I thought so too. <laughs> CAST has been a one of a kind organization, working in the trenches, liberating victims from the clutches of traffickers and helping them to seek the safety and the support that they need to lead dignified lives. CAST was the first anti slavery organization to advocate for laws that protect victims and it opened the very first shelter for trafficked women and their children in the United States of America. We are, yeah, that's right. So we're gathering tonight to celebrate the social and systematic changes that occur when a coalition of diverse and dedicated community members, board leaders, volunteers, donors, students, and most importantly, survivors, come together to put an end to modern day slavery. Now, take a look around the room, and I think you should give yourselves a little round of applause because modern day slavery ends with us, and together we can end it. Now, I think some of you were given orange bracelets when you checked in this evening. So there is a purpose for this. Um, so will, will the people wearing the bracelets uh, please raise their hand right now? All right. Well, unless some of you are in the bathroom, that should be 165 of you holding your hands up. And this represents the number of survivors who were rescued this year, thanks to CAST. And their expert staff at CAST. And now, um, there are people with wristbands with a star on those wristbands. Can you put your hands back up again, those of you with a star on your wristband? All right, there's 18 of these people with a star on the wristband. Just take my word for it. Um, this is the number of people who will be trafficked in the U.S. before the end of this program tonight. That's why we're here tonight. We are here to support the growing number of victims coming to CAST for the much needed help. Now, CAST was founded in 1998 by Dr. Catherine McMahon. I understand Catherine is here today. Catherine. And then we also have one of the co-founders, Chancy Marcharelli, and he is here. Mar oh, she is here, I'm sorry, Chancy Marcharelli. Where is she? Can you wave? Give her a round of applause anyway. Thank you, Catherine and Chancy. You are both incredible women. Now, <clears throat> County Board Sur Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas is also here to show his support tonight. Mark? Cast is a coalition with a mission serve and empower victims of human trafficking by providing comprehensive, long-term social and legal services. Yes, CAST does not just stay with a survivor for one or two days or even one or two months. They commit to a long-lasting relationship with the survivors so that they can rebuild their lives and learn new skills to become thriving members of our community. This, this is really what strikes me about this organization, okay? CAST works with over 100 partners in the community so that more victims can be identified and brought to safety. And then the way CAST empowers survivors is it's extraordinary, okay? With innovative domestic and international programs, CAST's model programs are recognized all over the world for helping victims become more self-sufficient. Learning about trends that traffickers use to enslave people through their work with the survivors, CAST then applies this important information to inform policy and prevention here and around the world. Now, after 15 years of service, CAST is the go-to resource for media, for policymakers, for law enforcement, and for the philanthropic community for information about modern-day slavery. On behalf of CAST, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize everyone who made tonight possible, the Honorary Host Committee and sponsors, board members, staff, and of course our dedicated volunteers. 
Tonight's event will help cast serve the growing number of victims coming to them for refuge while also making important progress towards ridding our nation of modern day slavery through their policy initiatives. Thanks to the contribution of these individuals and businesses, this event was nearly 100% sponsored and that means that nearly 100% of the proceeds from this event will be applied where they are needed most. that help victims of human trafficking and to help them reclaim their lives. 